welcome back to Jane W. So, during this wonderful time of quarantine, one, two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> um, I have decided to take a total advantage of the situation. So, we have a dumpster that's donated every single year by our hometown Recology. Thank you. Shout out to Recology in Vallejo. Um, we get a, do a dumpster donated every year to do our spring cleanup. We throw away old broken tanks, use supplies that are no good that we can't resell for, for... Oh, I got a little bit of a glare there, guys. Sorry. And, of course, my fingers and everything. Um, and stuff like that. So, basically, uh, I am getting 100% ready for that. And on top of that, I'm taking advantage of the fact that we cannot... Um, we're not supposed to go anywhere. And the fact that we don't have any shows, programs, or anything coming up. I have been going through <clears throat> each uh, room and dusting and cleaning and reorganizing and getting some stuff together. And I started with back in, in the end of the house, the lizard room. And of course, every day I have to go through and redo a few little things and keep everything organized. So I'm in the snake room today, yesterday and today. I'm almost done in here. I've already eliminated one rack um, by consolidating some stuff and actually moving a few things around. My kitchen looks like a bomb went off in it. But anyway, um, there's still things to do in here like this guy up here needs to be done, but we need to pull her out uh, so that I can redo these because these are they, these. this one's a little off. So I need to keep uh, this side, as you can see the X, this side needs to stay empty. They're hard to pull out and push in um, because they're off. And I have that obviously sitting on top. But anyway, so all these guys have now been done. So now I'm working on the rack in front of me, which is why you see me doing this. So I wanted to touch bases on something real quick. Um, I'm feeding snakes. This is the Cape King. Oopsie. This is the Cape King snake. Sorry, baby. Yep, get it. It's already dead, but get it. <laughs> I wanted to bring up a couple of quick things. One is I always look like I'm coughing or dewinded. No, I do not have the 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 cooties. I have a lung issue. I always have. Well, not always, but I have for the last six years. So anyway, I think I touched bases on that. If I didn't, I'll I will another day. So, I wanted to touch base on the whole hoarding thing of the toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff. So, I just want to throw it out there that um, a lot of rescues and shelters and nonprofit organizations use that stuff too. And when people are hoarding it, Nita, when people are hoarding that stuff or overbuying, they're actually taking away from organizations that need that stuff. Us being one of them. Although we don't have a facility, our, this, you know, it's in our home. And, you know, we use them for many different reasons. I use, I love Kirkland. Another shout out to Kirkland. Kirkland paper towels and toilet pipes. But the paper towels especially. So I, um, I buy one package of paper towels whenever I go to Costco. I never buy more. When I get low, I go back. I buy another pack. Same thing with the toilet paper. Okay, I get low. I go back. I buy another pack. Like, there's really no need to necessarily hoard the stuff. I get that everybody's scared about the situation and the possibility of not being able to go out. But they are doing things to, to make up for that so people don't have to worry. Where they're now having people um, that are able to still work under the certain circumstances and have work orders that they can be out delivery. So there's a lot of places doing deliveries now during this time. Only during this time are they going to be doing the deliveries. Is Costco one of them? I don't know, honestly, because I mean, you know, this stuff usually lasts us a while, but eventually we are going to run out. We're going to have to go to Costco. Um, am I going to go to Costco? Hell no. I'm a high risk. But I will send somebody. Um, but anyway, so paper towels. I actually use these paper towels to line our snake racks. I use paper uh, newspapers for the long ones. 
and I use these for the short ones because why? If I count one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I stop, I fold this in half, and I make two of these, and it fits inside the bin. Okay? Um, and they're e it's easy. So, again, guys, I just wanted to touch base on that real quick. See, one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes I've got to recount. Three and six. And then I fold it. And then I use it for the next cage. So, just to let you guys know, so there are other things that paper towels are needed for. It's not just for cleaning and wiping stuff down. It's actually why I use them for, for cages. Um, so, uh, yeah. So that's it really. So, uh, I should be done in this room pretty soon and I'm going to get to my hallway closet. Um, and then I'm going to maybe take a break and have a little snack and stuff like that. Um, uh, also in the meantime, in between my breaks and in between everything else, I am working on some stuff. Um, you know, my taxidermy stuff. I did, oh, that looks like a heart. I just noticed that. Ah, ah. So I did, uh, I did tan this. It has the, the, the head and the tail um, during my stay. Um, this will be used for education because it is a northern Pacific rattlesnake, which is one of our native species here in California. Unfortunately, this guy did not make it. Um, and... There's a lot of reasons why we get rattlesnakes. Most of them get released, relocated and released. Some, unfortunately, do not um, due to different circumstances. Some, believe it or not, are killed before we get there. Some are burned in fires, and we try to rehab them. Some are caught in um, netting, uh, especially those uh, really flimsy black wire nets that people use to put around their bushes and stuff. Yes. King snakes, gopher snakes, and rattlesnakes all get caught in those, including birds and other lizards. Um, so we don't recommend using those. We recommend trying to find something else. Um, and there's a lot of other things. I also did another, where did I put it? Because I had it in here drying. Uh, oh well, anyway, it was in here. I don't know where it is now. I've lost it. Which isn't un nor un you uh, you know I mean it happens a lot because my head I'm losing my head I never know where I put anything anymore oh my lord I'm getting Alzheimer's anyway it was a skin of a Taiwanese beauty snake and I gotta go find that now because that's gonna see squirrel well actually I'm gonna finish feeding one two I have three more cages to finish feeding hey. So I'm going to get those done, and I'll be done in the snake room, and then I'll move on to the next thing. I need to have a cocktail. That's what I need to do, guys. Alcohol. Alcohol kills the bar, kills the cooties. That's what they're saying. And drink water every 20 minutes, because you get that stuff into your stomach, and the acid burns that and you out of it. All right, guys. With that being said, I am, uh, I got to go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna drive myself nuts. We're all gonna go crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go now. So please don't hoard the paper towels and the toilet papers, cause we, you know, let's share. Till next time, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until then, everyone stay safe and healthy. See you later, alligator. <laughs>